It's time for more divisional predictions here at Pro Football Weekly, and we're moving on to the NFC North, where the Green Bay Packers won the division at 15-1 a year ago. But in one of the most talented divisions in football, who's going to win the NFC North in 2012? Oh, I think I'd be crazy not to choose the Packers. I don't think there's any other team to talk about other than the Packers. I still think it's the Packers division to lose. I think Green Bay is the class of the division. I just got back from the Packers camp uh, and uh, they really do look strong. Uh, Aaron Rodgers is still as good as it gets at quarterback. You look at his receivers, the off veteran offensive line. I think they were embarrassed by the, the home loss to the Giants in the playoffs last year. An early exit in the playoffs, that's still burning in their minds. They went 15-1 and last season with just a horrible pass defense. You know, they add Nick Perry and Drell Worthy to that front seven on defense. I think they're going to shore up their defense. I, I still trust Dom Capers, their defensive coordinator. So they still got Charles Woodson and those guys in the secondary. There's a pretty big gap between Green Bay and the other teams in the division. I don't think they'll go 15-1, and one, but I still expect them to win the NFC North. I think the Bears are a team I put number two. I just think the Bear-Packer rivalry this year, those two games are going to be you know, right among the best games uh, you know, that the NFL has to offer. So I think it's going to be a lot closer than some people think. They obviously were you know, heading toward the postseason before all the injuries took their toll last year. It all comes down to the defense for the Bears. You've already seen Brian Urlacher having some knee problems. Well, I have some, some serious reservations about the, their pass protection and their pass rush. Charles Tillman, Lance Briggs, these are older defenders that have been great for a long time, but can they hold up throughout the whole season? With what uh, Phil Emery has done, uh, bringing in Brandon Marshall, Michael Bush, Jason Campbell, and Alshon Jeffrey at the other receiver spot. I expect the Bears to pick up where they left off prior to Cutler and Forte going down and, and finishing second in that division and grabbing a wild card. I think it's going to be, you know, a sort of a, a two horse race between Chicago and Detroit for that second spot. I think the Bears are a little bit more complete than the Lions. They've now got the target on their back, finally got into the postseason. Yeah, I just worry about their heads, to be honest about it. Had a world of trouble off the field, of course. I don't know how some of these distractions can't uh, bleed over into the regular season. That running game, you know, a running back gets hurt every six minutes on that team. With Matthew Stafford and Calvin Johnson, they can do a lot of damage with the passing game. Can Matthew Stafford and Calvin Johnson put up those numbers again? I'm not entirely sure. I don't trust the secondary at all. It was, uh, you know, it was an Achilles heel last year, and I think it's going to be worse this season. It's just such a tough division. I still got to put them below Chicago and Green Bay. The Vikings, you know, are, are clearly in a rebuilding year. Uh, yeah, the Vikings I have going fifth in the NFC North. I'm um, not with Ziggy Wolf on them uh, surprising us all. They're coming off a historically bad season and they really look pretty much like the same team. It's hard to discount a team with uh, Adrian Peterson on it, but if he's not healthy, I mean, they're, they're totally screwed. Leslie Frazier, I'm not quite sure if he's really of a head coaching timber. Oh, there's just not enough pieces there. I wouldn't be surprised to see that thing get blown up after the season. I don't think they're pushovers. I think they're going to play hard. I, I just don't know how many wins they're going to get. I, I think they're in a very tough spot in this division. So the Green Bay Packers may be the NFC North favorites heading into 2012, but if you're a Bears fan, Vikings fan, or a Lions fan, make sure to make your voice heard. Let us know your 2012 NFC North predictions 1 through 4 in the comments section of our YouTube channel. We'll tally them up for you for every division over at ProFootballWeekly.com.